What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Boom coming at you all a brand new Supreme Dropless, and oh my guys, finally a good one. If you guys saw my video from yesterday, I was raving about these t-shirts, and there's still some haters out there, and I, I truly don't understand it, man, because if you're hating on this tea week, you must have not lived through some of the dark ages, such as this, or maybe this, like, bro. This is actually a really good set of t-shirts. Sure, I wouldn't wear every single shirt here. I'd only wear a couple of them, but I can still say that a lot of these are really nice designs. We got some nice diversity, and we're gonna talk about what you should go for, which t-shirts are best for profit, as well as the rest of this drop list. So yeah, strap in. We got a lot of items to go over. Drop a like, you enjoy the videos. I am doing a live cop in the flesh tomorrow. I know I've been lacking on that, and I saw my last live cop. Y'all were like, Boone, wake the fuck up, bitch. So I got you guys, don't worry. It's about to be a fun week. Let's talk about what you guys should go for. Let's begin the video. Really fast, if you guys have not joined my Discord cook group, man, we're starting to heat up with the season. There's some really good items left in the lookbook. We got a bunch of stuff to go over today. I'm gonna write up a whole book report tonight. Best items to go for, best colorway. How long you're gonna have to hold? I usually have some low key call outs as well, man. Just go hit us up on Instagram if you wanna see that and just join the group. I've been chatting with the boys all day today about what tees to go for. So let's get into this drop list. We're gonna start it off with the most upvoted items, two accessories. And I'm really, I don't know, bro. We got the rocket timer. This one is so goofy to me. Maybe some of you guys like it, but it just kind of screams like race car bed to me. I don't know, man. It's just a very bizarre accessory. I don't really love it. I don't love it for display purposes. I do think it's going to be kind of cheap. We don't have retails, which like, I just, okay, cool. Whatever though. Um, I'm guessing these will be 30 or 40 bucks, uh, maybe 50. Around 40, they're definitely worth copping. They're not going to sell for much. There's no way to like actually use this, so it's not going to gain price over time. So this is really just a personal cop. It might look cool on like a desk or something, but I have enough stupid shit in the background. So I might even be skipping on this just to get to my t-shirt. If it's around like the 30 price point, then you could probably make 15, 20 bucks off it. I'm guessing it'll be selling for like 50 to 60. So I think it's kind of skippable, honestly, unless you want one. Red colorway with question is the best choice let's keep moving we have the repeat leather belt um these leather belts are just terrible i actually it's just a waste of an accessory they did the exact same leather belt i think two seasons ago um they ended up bricking pretty badly black color if you want to buy one definitely go for the bigger size the black colorway in large xl did end up aging to like 220 230 or so it should be around 148 158 i think it's skippable but if you want a longer hold from this week definitely the black big size belt that'll be the first to go let's also go over these decks before we dive in to the actual t-shirts we have the strawberry skateboard deck which definitely without question is the best deck from this week and maybe one of the best decks we see all season i've been raving about this design the t-shirt is one of my personal favorites um i actually think this one could do pretty nicely man you guys have heard my little rant about the deck so many times i'll do it really fast but you have to pay four dollars over the 10 shipping 14 shipping plus all the fees and then when you sell this the shipping is going to be at minimum 10 bucks so there's usually not a lot of money to be made with these decks um, I think this will be going for around 90 or so. It might drop around to the 80 range, but I could see this being a deck that like somewhat holds its value. A lot of these decks from Supreme now just plummet to the $60 range and don't really climb back up. I think there's going to be people wanting this deck though. Um, I don't really recommend it for resale. Like you're going to have to hold on to it or get a very fast sale. So I think it's skippable, but definitely my favorite deck. We also have the League Skateboard deck, which is without question skippable to me. I do like the white color a lot. That's definitely the one to cop if you were to buy this, but having three colorways, uh, the same shit with shipping and fees not gonna be a lot of profit go for the strawberry deck if you're gonna go for one of the two let's talk about these t-shirts now i'm gonna go over them kind of quickly just because i covered them more in depth yesterday but starting it off number one upvoted is the arabic logo tee this one's definitely gonna sell out the fastest next to the ronin shirt i don't really love this pink colorway they've been showing us i wish it was a lighter pink but um definitely the black is gonna be the best option i'm guessing it's gonna be white on black the white colorway is not a bad choice either there is a purple which is the lakers colorway which is probably gonna be one of the quicker colors to sell out the pale blue and the light brown are also good choices really every shirt here is a good cop besides the pink i think it's skippable heather gray is kind of like a last resort i'm guessing these are going to be 40 bucks like usual they should probably be going for around the 70 range bigger sizes double xl xl always going to do best double xl is going to fly on this one so you're gonna have to like do a double card or something if you want to get that size because it's definitely going to be selling out really fast i'm going to be buying like a lot of tees this week i'm going to get an arabic logo but it's probably going to be a medium or a large because i'm going to be doing a bigger cart and sometimes the mediums i've just been performing well because people don't buy them to sell as much moving on though um next up the ronin tee this is probably my favorite shirt of the week i think a lot of people would agree when people tell me this is a trash tee week i'm like bro 
this shirt is sick, bro. I just don't get the hate. I guess I don't really know shit about this shirt is partially the reason I'm not like super clamoring to buy it, but I can't deny the logo hit, that font, I absolutely love. You got a Ronin hit on the backside, the big old graphic, man. Like if you like Ronin or know much about it, this is a must cop, man. Definitely in the black color without question is the one to buy. This one in XXL again is going to fly. So if you want to get a big baller cart, XXL, Arabic tea, and a Ronin tea is definitely the way to go. I wish they did like a purple with a with a white supreme font that would have been so sick in my opinion but black and white are both really good options here brown's not bad i would really skip the pale green and pink though so black brown or white um definitely should be picking one of these up it probably is gonna be more expensive like 48 44 um i think it's gonna be worth it though i do think this is gonna age really nicely probably one of the first shirts to sell out um we also have the body snatchers tee and that's why i got the weirdo dave on today man i love weirdo dave i always talk about him whenever he pops up in the season um this is my favorite all-time weirdo dave shirt i got two of these this one is really nice though man the body snatchers tee big old skeleton on the backside with some cuss words fuck your world like come on bro this is a hard shirt in my opinion i'm a big fan of this khaki colorway is probably the most demanded black second apparently the orange um colorway of the skeleton is on the navy tee which why like bro why is it not orange and black that would have gone crazy that kind of bummed me out a bit but this is also a must cop t-shirt every t-shirt i've talked about so far you guys should be carding body snatchers included next up the business tee you guys actually have this upvoted the second most i'm a fan of it um i love claymation stuff the graphic itself it's a little bizarre i don't know it's not like my favorite claymation graphic they could have gone with but i do love a devil on my t-shirt i think the devil alone i would have really enjoyed more but um yeah white color looks really good black color should be a good choice as well. I feel like on this one, it's really more so the white or black color you should be copping because this one should be easier to cop than some of the other shirts we've talked about. Um, as always, bigger sizes and everything, but I still think this one's a cop for 40 bucks. That's not a bad price to pay, and a lot of these shirts are going to age very well now that it's spring summer outside. Spring summer tees usually perform pretty nicely. Definitely better than week one. Got the eyewear tee. Um, this is definitely a more skippable shirt. Something like the black color. I do think there's still profit to be made. I don't know if I'm going to be buying this one just for the sake of I want to get all these shirts in one cart maybe i do um that eggplant looks really nice but black is all reliable and should be very copable for this t-shirt it's not going to sell out as fast um this could be a sneaky cop in double xl we got to talk about the strawberries tee why is this so downvoted man this is one of my favorite shirts i think this one could be getting slept on black colorway um, or the white are definitely the two options to go for here. Black and white are going to be gorgeous for this shirt. Black definitely is the best one. Um, reminds me a lot of the orange peel tee from seasons ago, like 2015 or something. This is a must cop for me. This is going in my cart. Bigger sizes. This one might sell out a little slower since y'all are sleeping on it. Have it pretty downvoted. Um, yeah, I really like this graphic. I've just been talking about it all week. This is definitely going to be a cop. This probably be the shirt I'm most likely to wear, I feel like, if I bought any of these tees for the personal. We got the Tamagotchi tee. This is just going to be a it, man they honestly dropped the ball on this one like the graphic is just way too big i honestly they should have been a little bit smaller in my opinion at least one person got mad about that no yeah it's fucking tiny bro like no um that's gonna be a skippable and then finally the league t this one I'm kind of like, I don't know about. If the only basketball with the Harlem Globetrotters colors on the gray, that's the only shirt worth copping because really that's the only color we want for the basketball on this. I think it's kind of skippable. I'm not like in love with this one. If they have like this color scheme on the white color, maybe that one's the move. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be skipping on this one. Maybe a double X. I don't know, bro. When it comes to drop time, I'll turn to a demon. So we'll find out. But I think every t-shirt here just about has good profit. If you get the right sizes and colors, aside from Tamagotchi, which is just a lot lost cause what the fuck supreme how'd you fumble the easiest t-shirt design you had i don't know i'm super excited for this tea batch though they actually killed it on this one to me so let's get in the rest of the lookbook ronin short sleeve top y'all been waiting for me to talk about this one i really wish we had retails i feel like this is going to be 98 maybe even 108 i think 98 though um that's a hefty price to pay it is obviously a very loud shirt but oh my god is this one so so cool man um i'm a big fan i would not wear it personally and I think it might be a slow burner. Like it might take a bit of time for it to go up in its price, but there's definitely gonna be profit down the line for this shirt, especially with that back hit. The back hit is so fire, man. I wish they reversed it and that front side had the big Supreme and everything. And then they had the Ronin homie on the back, but I can't complain. This is a super sick top. Um, XL and stuff definitely is gonna do really nicely. Um, honestly, it is more of a hold than the t-shirts, but I think this one is a scoop this week, especially if you have a bigger budget and you maybe wanna skip some of the other tees. Arabic tee and the other Ronin tee 
that's a pretty sexy cart, man. So this is definitely a W. It's probably gonna go for 140, 150 range, which is some money to be made if you multi-cart. Except the Overdyed S logo hooded sweatshirts, these are actually getting some love. I'm not shocked because the Overdyed look is something Supreme should be doing way more on their hoodies. Um, I love a vintage looking hoodie. I feel like it's just a very popular thing nowadays. Um, the S logo, I'm not a huge fan of S logo hoodies and items anymore. So that makes this a little skippable for me. I, it's hard for me to say there's profit. This is definitely a good personal. I do think it's gonna sell out. But I don't know, man. These S logo hoodies don't really flip like that as they used to. Uh, I think this is the type of hoodie that over time, it's just gonna like age really well, but it's gonna take a bit, especially with it being hotter out and being a hoodie. I think the purple is probably my favorite, man. I love a good over dyed purple hoodie. Um, that would be my sleeper colorway pick for this one. Like that hoodie just looks so good to me. If I were to buy this, it would definitely be that color. Uh, this one's gonna be a bit of a hold, but there is potential here man i can't say it's a brick like i do usually with hoodies um they also have the sweatpants i would definitely go for the hoodie over the pants i think it just looks way better um so yeah these are pretty skippable but definitely buy the hoodie if you're gonna get one of these cargo pants these are also skippable we see these every season and i don't know the camos they're doing i'm not a fan um beaded hooded sweatshirt this is pretty reminiscent of things like the pillow tee they've just done a lot of designs with this kind of patchwork rainbow supreme logos they're skips for me not really like a huge fan but not a bad personal if you like it the watch knockout denim varsity I've seen some people showing love on these I will say the black color I actually do think is pretty sick it's the most wearable without question the denim is just a little too 90s for me um, it's definitely gonna be too hot outside I think for this uh, I, I don't really like them personally but I could see why people enjoy them. The black color is pretty sick, honestly. The more I look at it, this one's a big, I don't know. I wish I had retail. If it's like 218, 228, there is potential on this to hit like around 300 or so. But if it's more expensive, 248, 268, definitely gonna be a skip in my opinion. It's just not the right season for jackets. But this one is another pretty risky cop. I don't know. I I'm gonna be skipping on it. It's grown on me a bit though. I was hating on it earlier in the season. Speaking on hating, the race and fleece jacket. I made a whole top five worst Supreme Idol of the season video this was in it because i mean it's not like the worst or anything but supreme just makes so many better fleeces like why is this the fleece of the season it I don't know, man. It's just all over the place for me. I don't like the racing stripe look too much. I really don't like the logo font on the backside, and I super don't like the colorway choices. I just don't think they go together that well. Brown, bright blue, and red. <sighs> no, and then gray, yellow, and black. Like I'm, I'm just not a fan of these. It's really getting hot out. It's not time for fleeces. These are gonna sit. I'm not a fan. I'm a really big hater of this fleece. They could have done so much better. And while we're talking about my most hated items of the season, these flight pants might be my number one ugliest item from this season. I just cannot get behind these. They're picnic, like zippered cargo. <sighs> no, bro. Just no. I am not a fan at all. These are just going to look so loud on body. Maybe someone could pull it off. If you like them, totally fine. Fair to you. Just for me personally, I would never ever wear these. I super hate on them. So yeah, these are going to be a skip. They're probably going to be expensive for no fucking reason as well and we got the matching cam cap um there's more potential on these cam caps but i think they're also going to be skips like who wants a picnic basket on their dome piece not me um aoi buddha pin terrible i was talking about this in my discord bro they should have an arabic logo pin that would have been so so fire but instead we get this trash i'm not a fan of the aoi stuff um, repeat stitch anorak these are gonna be skips. Actually, like not a bad personal, honestly. It's a lightweight anorak for the outdoors, a nice spring jacket. I like the baby blue, I like the natural. I like every color, but they're gonna be skips for me. Um, it's a good personal, but I don't see profit. Leather patch six panel, this is a quick skip. I really am not a fan of those. Um, the pinstripe linen shirt, actually like a pretty nice summer shirt again man like that black color is not bad every color is pretty decent of course it's not gonna have resale of course none of you are probably gonna buy it but i had to show some love to it man i actually think this is a clean shirt if it went on sale or something maybe i'd even buy one like this looks really comfy for the spring summer man so not a bad one not a bad personal ronin mesh short um these are a little disappointing to me i feel like with all the ronin graphics we've seen they put a kind of not as fun one on these shorts um yeah i i don't know i'm just not a fan of this graphic too much in the short form these are gonna be skips. However, the football jersey, it looks way better to me. Um, it actually has that like comic panel look to it. 
I actually really like these. I, if they went on sale, I'd maybe buy one. I don't think I'd really wear them, but it's a fun take on a football jersey. It's a cool all over design. Definitely better than the shorts. Not gonna resell, but not a bad personal, man. But uh, that's gonna end it with the wool trousers short. Blue color of these, bro. These were not wool. This is like a cotton short. I would maybe get some because I love the blue color on these. And I do like my just kind of uniform work short look in the summertime. Really like this blue so much. They're wool trouser shorts though. That's just Supreme being goofy. These are obviously skips. And that does it for the week. I have to rush through this video because I gotta get to editing so you guys can see this before the drop. Let me know what t-shirts you guys like or what you're gonna go for. If you're gonna go for something besides the tee, let me know. I'm definitely gonna have a fun cart this week. It's gonna be a fun live cop for the first time in several weeks. Arabic tee, uh, body snatchers, Ronin tee, strawberry tee. Maybe I throw one more shirt in just to get to free shipping. Probably the business tee. So that's a 5T cart. Pretty solid checkout this week. But yeah, it's been your boy Boom. I might get to edit it now, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.